Image Inform Games. Yes, I am using a gamepad. And that is the symbol I get when the game is saving. The Earth, broken into a million shards, forcing its steam-driven inhabitants into space. Hard-working folks known as Calbuts survive by farming moisture and mining what little land is left, constantly dealing with all sorts of space jerks. There are the gangs of scrap metal meanies roaming about, preying on the weak and completely disregarding basic manners. Then there are the diesel-driven royalists, a bunch of oppressive bullies, abusing their power and bleeding the cowbots dry. To top it all off, there are rumors of something far more dangerous stirring in the depth of space, waking from its age-long slumber. These are the descendants of a shattered planet, and this, my distinguished gentle bots, is the new Steam World. And with that, I welcome you to a new Let's Play of mine. I'm the Orange Genius, but you may call me Eric, and today we are playing Steam World Heist. The last Let's Play I did was Steam World Dig. This is by the same developer, Image and Form Games, and I don't know what this game is going to be wholly about, but one thing is for sure: this music is dope. I've been I've been doing test recordings, and I've just been basically sitting here listening to this music. Now, now I, I am rambling, so you can't hear it that well. Um, I, I messed with the sound balance a little bit. This should be good, um, but but I don't know yet. Um, this this uh, game game's window size is also freely choosable, which is a little unfortunate because I do like it when I have a set resolution setting of 1280 by 720 because that is um, the 16 by 9 ratio that YouTube wants and if I don't have exactly that re resolution there's gonna end up being black bars and I don't like those. Well I tried my best I hope this there's not gonna be any black bars. I'm also back to using fraps to record again so the the game qu the, the gameplay quality or the the definition is going to be um, well you can see this as I'm playing it again not with Steam World Dig that the resolution there was a little, or or the quality was a little worse there. I am um, I apologize about that. What else is there to say? I'm probably gonna play through this in like two sittings or or maybe more. But um, it's a strategy game, but I don't exactly know how exactly cl to classify this. Um, it's, it's got procedurally generated dungeons and I am going to jump right in. This is a blind playthrough and we're gonna see what's going on in this game. Yes, a new game is going to be selected. Oh boy. Uh, presents a challenging experience for the typical player. Experienced. Up there it says typical and down here it says experienced. I don't... Uh, huh? Regular... I'm not gonna... that's... that's not... You get bonus experience. You get bonus experience for higher difficulties. Our favorite setting recommended for advanced players requires expert use of weapons and abilities. I can tell you this much right now, I'm not a particularly good um, player when it comes to strategy titles. I mean, I did play through XCOM Enemy Unknown, not as on a, I don't have a Let's Play series of that yet, but um, we'll see. I, I hope I'll get through this without major mess-ups, but if not, that's gonna be okay. That's why we are playing this, um, because we don't want to have everything be completely casual, do we? No, 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 no. Um, do we go with normal or a little more difficult? I'm not entirely sure. I think for the moment I'll go with normal. If it's too easy, I'll play through the first bit again and we'll all start where I left off. I guess you won't notice anything basically and I'll just have a little bit of time to invest. Okay, experience it's gonna be. This setting can be changed before every mission. Oh, that's very convenient. Thank you very much. Hyper Faraday, notorious 
smuggler and occasional pirate is having a rough time. A brutal gang of thugs called Scrappers are spreading across her turf in the outskirts. Stealing everything in sight, they have even been known to kidnap the locals. Their presence could draw unwanted attention from the Royal Space Force. In short, they are bad for business. Low on water, Piper and her mates have boarded a scrapper ship, aiming to relieve them of their ill-gotten cargo. And of course, it all went according to plan. To whose plan? Piper is a woman, right? I think so. Blast! This did not go according to plan. What a positively macabre place. Look up. Hey, fellas, you alright? Right, better get up there and help out. Move the cursor to the target. Confirm movement. And turn. Turn-based strategy title. Basically, like I said, right? Ah. That's nice. I have to keep the button pushed. I'm playing this with a gamepad. Confirm. Oh, cowboy down here! Ain't I lucky? Ripper. Mind if I help myself to some of your water? When I'm done with you, I'll use you for spare parts. Ha! Ah, you just tried, bub. Take cover. Okay, that's cover. Get it. Draw gun. Total damage, 2 to 4. Weapon, 2. Critical is 50%. You get skill shots in this game, so you get to ricochet your weapons, which is particularly nice. Um, why not start out with a headshot, though? Aim and fire. Why would why would I not start out with a headshot? Okay, I guess I have to go down here. There's no more enemies in place. Meaning I can loot this guy? No. Okay, that was easy enough next door turrets fancy security for a hunk of junk I bet I can c cover behind that shot up barrel uh, sprint to cover ah, I can sprint there but then I cannot um, draw my weapon anymore I get it I won't be able to fire after a spin like that. I'll just wait my turn here. Oh god, that's not what I like to see. That was a frame drop. Right, my turn. Better amp up my gun so I can take that turret out with one shot. I don't want to trust another go. go co uh, I don't want to trust another go covering behind this thing. Okay, cover has health. Right trigger. Power shot. Pull down three turns, a regular shot that deals plus one damage. Does that thing have a weak point? I would um, hazard to guess that the weak point of a turret is actually it's like, you know, the place where it's constructed and gets its, po its power source, but I wouldn't know. That thing has three health and I, I do three damage per shot, so I guess I don't need to think about that too, too hard. We want to go right there. Uh-oh, don't open it. I guess I could sprint up there. There wasn't any enemies around. My crew's supposed to be behind here. And the turn to him. Cowbots. Yeah, it took you a sweet time, Captain. And here I was coming to save you all. Where's the rest of the crew? They got scrapped and hauled off. I'm the only one left. Ah. Dang it, we need to get out of here before we end up in some scrap heap. Aye, aye, Captain. 
So I can uh, I can fire my 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 cooldown sh uh, my my power shot. That's convenient. These guys have all have four health. But a regular shot that deals plus one bonus damage. That does not say it has critical though. Nope, doesn't have critical, does it? This is my crew. Uh, we have cover, but is this half cover or is this full cover? I wonder about that. He has four. Well, he has four total damage, but he does not get. He doesn't get Linus like you know the the indicator, does he? Oh shit! That was not all that clever. So that thing might have four damage, but it's only it's very close range. I get it. Could have just shot him like this. So, buddy, how you doing? There's our way out. Let's steal one of their escape pods. Too, too sweet. Okay. Covering, holding fast. I don't know what that means. We'll see. Yeah, I was kind of expecting that here. Can I switch characters already? Yes, I can. Open the door. Alright. You do not have any cover whatsoever, buddy. That's not a good way to go here. Not against a shotgun. Um, we could... We don't need to use a power shot here. I don't think we have access to... Yes, we do. Cooldown three turns. I don't... I don't even know. How was it? No. Oh. But this is cool. I, I uh, do enjoy myself with this style of game, and um, I hope you're going to enjoy yourself with it too. Um, it's probably going to be very much more difficult later on. This is pretty basic stuff right here. Yeah, that's where I fell in. That's where we broke into this place from. And up there is the escape pod, so I might as well sprint to the exit here. That's monies. I didn't even see your foot here. Where did your foot go missing? See, Braz? Want to talk about it? One area in that zone, and one person in that area, the escape zone, and two people. And turn to evacuate. Finish mission, board the escape pod, and finish this mission. Swag collected. Oh. All according to plan, successful. Container, a small but rewarding amount of treats. That's... Swag, okay. 143 drops of water. Or, or ounces, probably. <laughs> Hopefully not. A few swills of water, the essential resource for steam bots. So you do level up your characters much faster on a higher difficulty setting, huh? Or, no, 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 that's not a percentage-based bonus either. That's, that's plain and simple hard cash. Well, we'll see. Welcome back, Captain. That's an old man, isn't it? Dang it, Wonky! We won't get any work done with these scrappers hogging everything in sight. The no good steam maggots are even pilfering the parts of honest cowbots. We'll have to do something about it. They hauled off most of our crew back there. Gah, I'm still here. With the water shortage, it's a tough spot. No mistaking it, this puts us at skeleton crew. What am I? Im invisible? We didn't even get that much water. We'll need more gallons to f get back on our feet. We'll have to figure something out. Okay, ma'am. 
Just set that course over the over on the map table and I'll get us moving. Well, I can move freely in this area, that's nice. You're not invisible, Seabrass. Golly, that went bad. Those patchy bolt heads had me staggered. Gah! Makes me squeamish about boarding. Uh, squeamish about boarding bigger vessels, it does. I don't feel much like ending up in some scrap, yet, uh, scrap heap. Right you are, sailor. So there was the map table. Oh, no, 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 no. Game, game, game. Oh, thank you. I cannot jump, by the way, but they're uh, conveniently... Oops, I'm sorry about that. I, I didn't do that. Conveniently enough, there's a lot of ladders scattered around. Can I... Ooh, hi. What can I do in this screen? I do not have the option to save. I can look in my hats. Uh, b what? Hat. A ship requires many things. A captain but one. Proper headwear to show who's boss. Who's the boss? You're the boss. Brainilla Ice. Ice baby. Ambassador hat. A deliberate pointer to a well-known and dreaded shiner condition derived of excessive mixing of the hot seas and cold seas. Makes for a boo uh, makes for a both visualization of the problem per se and a pretty good reminder to keep your cool. Can also double as a popsicle on a boiling summer day, though it might be hard to swallow. That's an uh, that's a brain, okay? We get another ambassador hat. Whether you're a preschool poser or a washed up wannabe mariner, you'd better shape up and fold yourself an escape from reality. Oh, and be kind enough to let your gramps or a warden read it before you Ridify yourself and set off into the great unknown. I'd rather be sailing. The dog of swag. Ambassador had to let me break it down for you. With this ace, you don't need no bag for his little schnizzle. Get buck wild and bum rush the party in style. Aight? And we get the fisherman beanie. A thick vertically knitted beanie. Smells of salt, sea and whale clobbering. Seriously, you can feel the rage from its former owner oozing all over. I'll be equipping this bad boy. Did I? No, I didn't. How do I do that? Huh. I have crew, I have both of these. Can I abilities? Handgun, sharpshooter. This character can use sharpshooter class weapons. This character can use handgun class weapons. That's a power shot. Handgun and assault. This can use assault class weapons. I get it. As for items, I don't have any items. Alright, I figured that out myself then. Um, I'll be... I, I don't know how long my episodes are going to be from this point onwards. By the way, why did I have those hats? Because there is free DLC for this game on Steam. And my I, I thought, well, that's free. I'll just pick that up. And that those were three hats for free. Literally, that's what it said. Anyways, um, I don't know how, the, how long the episodes are going to be from this point onwards. I expect the episode length, length to vary quite a bit because... Um, I'm probably gonna put each mission in one episode, meaning I'll end it before we um, get into the next mission and then we are going to, well, blast through, through an entire mission. Um, why do I do it like that? Because when I watch a Let's Play of something and um, an entire mission just gets cut in the middle and uh, the next episode gets uploaded the next day or the week after or I don't know, um, I usually have forgotten what happened in the first part of it, so I, I'd rather have the entire mission be in one episode, so that's how I'm going to tackle it. For the moment, let's look at the space map. We need to find more gallons! Uh, there is not much of a choice here. Filling up with an, with nothing but ripper class scrappers aboard, this tiny vessel should be easy pickings, even for a small and desperate crew. Grab as much as possible and get out. Alright. 
collect swag, evacuate, briefing with nothing but, yeah, okay, difficulty. No bonus experience that is percentage based after all. The only thing that rises is enemy damage and enemy health. Huh. I'll have to I'll have to check if I get like if the game punishes me for for picking a difficulty I should not be picking. So I'm going to pick a veteran this time to see what the game is going to throw at me. But for the moment, I hope you enjoyed this for first episode of this let's play and I hope you'll stick with me. I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.